13, find the x-intercept and y-intercept of f of x equals x squared minus 10x plus 9. Now, if you think about this, this is a parabola. More than likely, it's going to cross in two spots on the x-axis. So the x-intercept is going to have two answers. The y will just have one. The y-intercept will just have one little point. So how do we find that? Well, if you think about it, let's do the x-intercept first. That's always the more challenging. We know that we think we're going to get two answers. Well, what's true about these points? You've gone over some amount and up how much? None. And here you've gone over some amount and up none. We know the y value is zero. That's always going to be true. If we're looking for where it crosses the x-axis, the y value, the height, has to be zero. So we take the original equation and set the y to zero. Now, f of x is the same as y. This is the same as y equals. So we're setting that equal to zero. So zero equals x squared minus 10 times the x value plus 9, and we're trying to find that x value. Hey, if I have an x squared, then an x, then a number, a trinomial here, you know it's going to break down into some binomial. Right? Or you could use a quadratic formula, but I'm not going to do that to you. So this breaks down. What multiplies together give us 9, yet has a difference of 10. Not in this case a difference of 10, but it's going to be an x minus a 9, x minus a 1. Notice that that will give you minus 9x, minus 1x, which gives you the negative 10x in the middle. And negative 9 times negative 1 is positive 9. So we set each equal to 0. Minus 1 equals 0. Add your 9, you get... 9 is one value, add 1, 1 is another value. Now, don't leave them like that. Now, I do like them written as 9, 0, and 1, 0. That's where it's crossing. Okay, So actually, you can see it slid over a little bit. It's all in the first quadrant sort of there with where it's crossing to the right of the y-axis. Now, how do I find the y-intercept? Well, you're at some point here. You've gone over how much? None and down something. So we know the x value will be 0. So we just plug 0 into the original equation. y equals 0 squared minus 10 times 0 plus 9. That's going to be y comes out to be a positive 9. So it occurs when x is 0, y is 9. It'll be at 0, 9. We could now, if we wanted, okay, we're done here. But if we wanted to think this through, we know 1 is crossing right here at 1, 0, 1 here at 9, 0, and then 0, 9 is the y-intercept, so it's coming in doing something like that.